Coming up in this episode, we get our long-awaited new tender. Not so heavy. We install our new anchor chain. And we meet some friendly cows. You may have noticed behind us, we have a bit of an audience. Good morning everyone, we've had some deliveries today, some parcels. Yeah, things are starting to turn up. Got this one here, just gonna see what it is. Ah, oh, just, just a, well, it's fine. It's three wheels for the yeah. Yugi. We got wheels to go on the tender. There you are. Wheels, stainless steel bolts. Uh, yeah, stainless. We open this. Wheels, yeah. And we got this as well. Should I get some socks on? Yeah. It's like Christmas. The bear kit. What's yeah. that? Not sure. Just patches and things in here. Hey. Ah, it's not so heavy. Desperately needs a new tender, as you all know, our old one. It's full of holes. Everywhere we went, we had to carry the pump with us all the time. Because it would just go down, go flat. So this is a... Uh... You've been waiting a long time for this. So here she is. She is small. She is small. It's uh, 0 0.1 meters small, isn't it? Uh, the other dinghy we had was 2.4 meters, and this is 2.3. But we want a small tender because it takes extra long to thump up and it's extra hard to handle. This one, it was 380 and it comes with uh, wheels on the back. Well, we've got to put the wheels on, but it'll do it, you know, this is the job, job done. So we got our tender up on a, um, uh, a tender wheel thing. <laughs> we don't have our names or anything. Uh, we're putting wheels on the back because this tender come with three wheels. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to drill some holes and oh, put it yeah, half an inch from the bottom, try and straight as possible, and hopefully it'll be golden. Very fast, this, isn't it? So we've drilled the holes for that one. Adam's just testing it. Uh, we're basically just going to do exactly the same with this other side. Putting some silicone around here just to give it some sort of seal when it goes on there. But it comes with washers and these little rubber grommets that go on the inside of there. So it shouldn't leak because this will be out the water line. That will be in a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I can go digging with wheels. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a tin opener, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to show how they work as well? Or just do one, I suppose. Yeah, they go like this. Pull out, up like that. Or they can go directly right up. up, like that. 
Out of the way, out of the water. You've got to have a go now, man. Go on, go on. I know you're dying to. He's loving this. Absolutely loving it. Oh, he's loving it. Come on, I've got to do the cinematic shot. Land at the beach. Oh, the joys of wheels, eh? The joys of wheels. <laughs> it's amazing. Perfect. We even got a seat. <laughs> We're so excited. Ah, oh, that's exciting stuff. You're level, isn't it? Yeah. This'll be for the helmsman. That the seat. <laughs> this really is pure luxury for us. A tender with a seat with wheels. Ah, oh, it's, it's amazing. Really amazing. Do it, Ned. Take a real battle for a spin. <laughs> so what are we doing? Put the chain into the wheelbarrow, and we'll take it down to the pontoon, and we're going to measure it out. And we... yeah. We've got some new chain from yeah. from Pro Marine. past their boat, isn't it? Yeah. The end? We're there. Yeah. So here it is, 80 meters, no, 60 meters of eight mil chain, literally going down the other end of the pontoon. Uh, we're just marking it into 10 meter sections here. And then Adam is gonna paint some red paint on a little bit of a section of it. So every time we see a red bit of red paint, we know 10 meters have gone out. Red paint. What are we doing? I'm gonna paint the anchor chain, the links. Yeah. So we know exactly how much we're putting out. Well, we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna try and paint them again. We've done it before and it didn't last long, but we're gonna try. Uh, we marked off our chain every 10 meters. And so we're just gonna paint a few links every 10 meters and then hang them up here to dry. I know red is normally used for the last shot of the chain, I mean the last five or 10 meters. But we're gonna use, this is the color we got and then we're gonna use it for every 10 meters. So you just gotta count how many red pieces you see basically. Hopefully just, it will stay on. Yeah, just a visual thing, isn't it? Yeah. So we can see. We could use, well, it'd be nice to have a chain counter. If it doesn't stay on, then we shall resort to the old way where we tie a little bit of string every 10 meters, but they're just a little bit harder to see. Yeah. It's a little bit easier like this. Job done. Anchor by here. Yeah, it's good. It's good, good ground. Beautiful. Sand. Oh yeah, gravelly and sandy. We're changing our anchor chain today. Yes, dug in. Yeah. <laughs> Not.
That's it then, is it? Yep, for the chain. It doesn't look like much. No. Then. I'm going to put the new chain in. Well, we're going to clean clean the anchor logger first and make sure it's all nice until the first time we anchor. Then it'll get all salty again. Brilliant. <laughs> what are you doing then, Ed? This off, yeah. Taking that off, yeah. And then we're going to be putting... Got something special to go on, haven't we? Yeah. Mantis anchor swivel. What, why are we putting this on then for? Because the chain keeps on twisting. When we put the, all the anchor chain out, mm. and then when we're retrieving it, mm. it starts twisting, and you can hear it twisting through the gypsy, and it's making a grinding noise on the gypsy. So this anchor swivel will allow the chain to, will allow the anchor to, un, you know, untwist. The chain to twist. to twist. Yeah. And it won't, it won't twist the chain up. It'll just spin this instead. Okay. Yeah. Sounds you can good. Put all this together. I'm going to take this off of here first. Got this from a uh, Pro Marine store. Would you help us out with the, the price? Yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Do you remember how to do it? Yeah, just a test fit it is. Just, it's just a test fit. Just a test fit. It's like I'm back when you've done it. Yeah. Go on in, show him, that, show him, show him. This is exciting. So it goes like that. Allows the chain to twist. Just, uh, well, that hopefully it'll do it under load. Yeah. And this looks beautiful. On. And that'll go on the anchor, doesn't it? And, uh, and that'll go on the anchor. Hopefully there'll be enough room for it. Yeah, doesn't it go the other way? That way, yeah, that's what I thought. That no, way. Will there be enough room? Enough room, wouldn't it? It will be, wouldn't it? To go on Another there. Another pin that will have to go through there, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know that. That's what I mean. The pin's going to have to go through there, isn't it? It's yeah. It's not going to go through the hole. Yeah, yeah, it'll have to go on there like that. But yeah. how the hell are you going to get that onto there? Get what I mean? Because mm. that eye is not going to go through there. That is not going to go through the, over the eye. Adam's just put it together. Yeah, I just put it together. Put a bit of Teflon tape around there and screwed this in place. And put a locating pin through there. Yeah. Comes out of here and I'm just going to spread her legs, so to speak. Ugh, that's rude. Hold it in place, isn't it? Just stop. This is the locking pin. You stop it and twisting. Yeah, if this pin comes out, this will come out. And we'll lose the anchor yeah. and this will drift onto rocks and die. Oh, lovely. You can either use this or you can use the uh, season wire. Season wire. Or you can try and put both on. We actually bought season wire, didn't we, after all the comments? Yeah. But now we don't need them. Because we got this. Each time you bring, bring the anchor up, we'll just visually check over this and check this locking pin. Do you want to demonstrate how it works? So there's the anchor. Should be able to spin. I know there's a shackle on shackle there, but we're going to check for where. And it spins like that so your chain doesn't get tangled up. Bit more chain than original. 55 meters. Yeah. We had 55, 55 meters. 55, didn't we? Yeah. Now we got 60. Brand new chain, it's lovely. Job done, brand new chain. All put away nicely in there. Yeah. The job completed. Done and dusted.
We're getting there now, aren't we? Mm. Feels like we're getting somewhere. Scooter sign. <laughs> Just going to test out our uh, <laughs> new adult, adult scooters. <laughs> yeah, we just drop that, it? We've used loads of cleaning this morning on the boat. We decided to have a little break and we're gonna go around the lanes on these scooters. Hopefully we won't fall off and yeah. injure ourselves. Little, little <laughs> ah, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> You're loving it. Yeah. You're loving it. Not bad. We'll see what they like then, is it? Yeah, hopefully they'll be. But they shouldn't be. Uh, must be getting round in, you know? Yeah. We originally bought them for uh, when we go to like different places. We can just jump on our scooters and travel into like the nearest town or we've got to travel a couple of miles and go on the scooters. Yeah. So let's see what they like. Transport. So we've made it this far on our scooters. The scooters are, what do you think of the scooters? They're good. It's good on flat ground and it's good from down the hills, but around yeah. here, I think they're mainly, mainly for cities. Cities, but they're great they're transport. Really good transport. Uh, yeah. We've done 25 miles. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't. You may have noticed behind us, we have a bit of an audience. A cow audience. And they're, they're quite brave cows. Do you think you can eat the GoPro? Slime on that, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're brave cows. So yeah, we're just having a um, a day off on the boat and just having a little bit of fun and stuff. You know, nice to have a little bit of a break. Um, yeah, just waiting for that one. Waiting for parts, aren't we? Is our audience? Very inquisitive cows. Very inquisitive. The scooters are brilliant, though, aren't they? Really it? good. They're so fun going down the hills. Yeah. We haven't fallen off yet, which is uh, very surprising. Yeah, I'm thinking about falling off, and I'm on it. Mm. I've gone quite fast one night and had a little bit of a speed We've bump. done 65 miles. Yeah, from the last hour. Chip, 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 chip. They like the scooter, does it? Very dribbly, isn't it? Yeah, this one's facing the wrong way. What's he doing? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a like, share, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And a massive thank you to all our amazing patrons for supporting us.